Alright guys and welcome to Season 4, Episode 15 of this AFC Wimbledon Manager Mode career. We are in the playoff semi-finals and I have got both legs of that for you today in this episode. And just as you would expect, the, the matches are quite high, tense, you know, the chances that are there aren't really the greatest of all chances if you like. And I'm not going to spoil anything for you, but you, know, you, you can understand where I'm coming from, that I'm trying to show you extended highlights of the semi-finals but sometimes the extended highlights aren't great if that makes any sense whatsoever anyway i'm just gonna just gonna crack on with it so yeah it was against preston north end uh, i think you knew that from last episode but as you can see there is only one change in my team and it is antonis who's coming at who's coming at center back for charles williams because this game was like i think it was like two or three days after the last game of the season they were really tired and especially charles williams being a youth player it hasn't got the stamina as of yet, so Antonis has had to come in from hopefully Charles Williams will be back for the second leg. But anyway, we started the brighter team in the eighth minute, had a shot for Mollard, although it did go miles past the post. But then in the 20th minute, Ryan Jackson used his space to get down the outside, gave the ball to Adameno, Adameno cut inside, he had a shot, he was blocked by the defender. It kind of weirdly fell to him again, but it didn't matter because he put it into the back of the net. And that was actually a really strange goal because I think what happened is that Adameno had a shot and the defender blocked it and then for some reason Adameno ran into the defender and yeah the ball ended up at his feet anyway and he put it into the back of the net which is all that matters but they came back at us in the 41st minute Daly got in to the box he had a shot cross type thing the keeper saved it and uh, they couldn't follow up the rebound header and then at half time we did the three subs it was Jack Mitten, Gareth Gulim and Brendan Kinn and all came on to you know add a bit more stamina a bit more pace to the team unfortunately though it didn't work because in the 56th minute they got forward i was like clear it clear it clear it i didn't manage to clear it kevin daly coney daly i don't know kfc daly I, I do not know what his first name is he put it into the back of the net and he was given way too much time in the box but we came straight back at them in the 66th minute. Adamino got the ball. He had a shot. He probably waited a bit too long to take it because they meant their keeper managed to come out and spoil the shot. But he came straight out to Yusuf. Yusuf gave it to Midson. Midson turned the defender and put his shot onto the crossbar and it went out for a goal kick. So really frustrating at that point. And then we had the final chance of the game in the 77th minute. Ricky Wellard onto a lovely through ball. He placed his shot. Unfortunately, though, he placed it past the post and over the ball. So the first leg finished. AFC 1-1. Preston North End one and that really does not help me at all into the second leg I am away from home I will need an away goal and yeah it's going to be a really tight intense game so just before I went into the second leg actually I thought I'll try and unnerve them but I will unnerve them by praising them and see if that makes any difference whatsoever and I rarely I rarely do actually talk to the press so when I talk to the press I actually mean it so it's, it's times like these that I, I know I did it before against Manchester United and I won 2 nil. so let's see if we can have the same effect so we were playing at night obviously and honestly I was really I was like oh I was really nervous because I wanted to win this and the game started off really tight and tense but in the 30th minute we had a shot with mid, um, not Mitten with Luke Moore and it went just past the post and then three minutes later we had another chance Moore gave the ball to Adameno Adameno turned inside the defender but his shot was saved by the keeper and it went out for a corner so not much to show in the first half, and then in the second half they got forward with Reed, who beautifully turned the defence, probably took too long on taking a shot, and the keeper saved it well. And then in the 52nd minute, Adam Aino got the ball, he fired a shot, but he dragged it past the like kind of near post. But in the 57th minute we came back yet again, Yusuf gave the ball to Adam Aino, Adam Aino turned beautifully inside the defender, and he put it away expertly. So we got the goal we needed, we were looking for it, and finally we got it, I was, I was really like, I was really happy that I'd managed to just get the away goal, which is needed, because if they came back in the eight class, then it would go into extra time, and which is, you know, if, if they'd have got the goal, it would really put the pressure on me, because it was a tight, intense game, and I was finding it difficult to get chances. But they came back at us, and in the 78th minute, a ball fired across goal by Tosuma, I think, uh, wasn't connected by any of their attackers, which is lucky for me, because it really would have been dangerous if it had. But we got the ball and broke straight away. Luke Moore gave it to Dijali, and Dijali was absolutely knackered at this point, but he he still went for it, he found Midton and Midton slammed it into the back of the net in the 81st minute to almost seal our victory if you like, I mean 2-0, Preston hadn't really threatened as much and there was only 9 minutes left so they weren't going to come back from that and they went all out attack so we went and counted, Midton gave the ball into gave the ball into Luke Moore, that does not make any sense whatsoever, Midton crossed the ball for Luke Moore and Luke Moore's header went just past the post, but it didn't matter because the game finished after that, and it finished Preston North End nil, AFC Wimbledon 2, and 
3-1 on aggregate to me, which means we are in the playoff final, get in, that is like the second, not the second time, the third time in this AFC Wimbledon management career that we've been to Wembley. We went in the first season in the playoff final when we beat Southend 2-1, and then we went last year in the FA Cup semi-final when we lost to Blackburn Rovers 2-1. So yeah, just a quick question for you guys, do you want me to do a live commentary on the final or edit it down to like, like I do, you know, every episode? I can do both if if you want actually I can do the live com upload that and then I can edit it down for any of you guys that don't want to watch the live commentary so yeah just let me know in the comment section below and thanks a lot for watching guys do not forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next episode for the playoff final can we get to the championship we shall see peace out guys